Okay, now. Uh, now, in regards to the money she paid you to go back out west, um, she gave you 500 cash, right? Um, um yeah. And then yeah. she and then she wrote you the uh, the Tisha check for 700, but she made and what did she write at the bottom of it? So that way it would to make it look like it was more legit, so that way she didn't get charged for like yeah, uh, for taxes. Yeah, she wrote. I think it was for labor. I'm I'm almost 100 percent sure I remember that yeah. correctly. Yeah, but meanwhile, she she told you though that every, it was the full amount of 1,200 was to get you back home, right? Um. Yeah. Actually, this is um. Yeah. Actually, I this is what happened. My car, my fuel pump went down. Um, it was towed uh, to the garage, and they said it would be five hundred and twenty dollars to get it fixed. I have a friend, my former employer, actually BC, um, was wiring me the money, but um, she Nicole didn't want to lend me her car, so she said I'll front you the money, the five hundred, and then when. If money comes through, then you can pay me. So she fronted me the 520. Okay. Um, and, then, and then when his money came, I paid her. And then um, I, when I pressured her, I mean, the same thing happened that happened to you. At that point, when I was pressuring her over and over again to get the bed out, and then I was going to Marlene, and I called her a num Marlene a number of times to get Nicole get the bed out and she finally got the bed out and I tell you she Nicole was angry very angry at me that she had to get the bed out okay um, it, was, it was after that that she said I'm going to give you the money to go back to DC and the message was very clear uh, I mean and she was pissed off she had to get the bed out okay so and she made it clear that she was giving you the money to go back home to British Columbia and she wrote you a, a check from the TJ account and yeah yeah so she when I paid her back the 520 in cash, uh, she gave that back to me, and oh. then the 700 and, and the check. So she gave you back the 520 that she took out of the teacher account in cash, so she gave that back to you, and then she wrote you a teacher account check for the other 700, and then just, and then wrote That's what, it. and she wrote labor at the bottom of it, just to make it look yeah. so it's legit, and, but she knew yeah. damn well that it was going for to get you back to BC. Because I because I pressured her to get the debt out out there, she was pissed off about that. So this all be, and so she kicked you. She wanted you to leave. She didn't technically kick you out, but she did uh, pay your way to get out, so that way you would leave. Not like me, where she kicked yeah, me out. Exactly. So yeah, exactly. yeah so she paid you exactly twelve hundred and twenty dollars to leave her farm out of uh, volunteers or or donation donated money. So that way you would leave the property and head back out to BC, and yeah. and then so that way and fraudulently by putting labor on on the bottom of the check, so that way she would not get in trouble. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's perfect. That's exactly what I needed to hear, because yeah. that that's I can take that to the CRA now, and they have no choice but to open an uh. A thing against her and in, in regards to many other things that she has done in regards to that that is perfect thank you so much yeah yeah 